In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily use the futures trading platform on Bitunix. If you want to get the best sign up bonus possible on Bitunix, you simply have to go down to the first link in the video description. You will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $5,500 of welcome bonuses. To create your account, you simply have to enter your email address right here and set a password or use one of these options and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, you can immediately go up here to the welcome bonuses. Right after the sign up, you can pick up right here your first bonus. Then after you've deposited and made your first trade, again, two new bonuses. Also, you can open a mystery box right here. The more you then trade over time, the higher of a bonus you can get right here and down below at the bottom. You can also see, depending on how much you deposit over time, you can get an additional bonus which gets up to $5,000. Bitunix is a KYC free platform, so you can start right away without any ID verification. To deposit money, we have two options, either with crypto or with fiat. First, let me show you how you can deposit money with crypto. You simply go up here to the wallet symbol and then click on deposit. Then right here, select the coin you want to deposit, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum. In my case, I'm going to choose USDT. Then down here for the network, select whichever one you want. In my case, I like to use the Tron network, for example. And then down here, you will be presented with your personal deposit address, which you can now copy to your clipboard right here and then send to crypto to this address. It should arrive within a few minutes. If you're doing this for the first time or want to send larger amounts, I recommend you to first send a small amount. And then once you have received it, send the remaining amount in a second transaction. So you can easily send money from your own wallet or another exchange in any cryptocurrency to here. The second option would be to deposit with fiat. So if you don't have any crypto yet, or you just want to deposit directly with Euro, US dollar, British pound, whichever fiat currency you own, there's also an option for that. And you can get there by going up here to buy crypto and then click on third party. Here on the right, choose the fiat currency you want to deposit. In my case, I will just choose the Euro right here, then type in how much. In my case, I'm going to start with 1000 Euro. Then down here, choose the cryptocurrency you want to receive. I highly recommend you to choose USDT right here, because eventually we need the money in USDT right here to trade with it. Next up, we need to choose the payment method right here. So you can choose your Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay, or even a normal SEPA bank transfer right here. Once you've chosen the payment method, down here you will see different third-party services that offer that payment method. Up here you will see the one with the lowest fees, so you can choose that. You can see how much USDT you will receive, and then just simply click on buy, and you will be redirected to this third-party provider. And what it will do, it will buy the cryptocurrency with your fiat currency for you, and then automatically send it to your BitUnix account right here. So that's how the service right here works. Once you've made any deposit, you can always check if the money has already arrived by simply going up here to your wallet symbol and then click on spot account. Here you can see an overview of all of your balances on your BitUnix account. So you should see all of your deposited funds right here. Next up, we need to make sure that we have the money in USDT to trade with it. So if you have, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum deposited, we first need to convert that to USDT. We can do that by simply going up here to spot. Then right here, choose the cryptocurrency you have deposited. For example, if you have deposited Bitcoin or Ethereum, choose the trading pair right here. Then scroll down here, choose market order to execute the sell immediately. You will see the balance right here of that particular coin and your USDT balance right here. Simply type in the amount you want to sell right here or use the slide controller and just for example put it to 100%. Then click on sell BTC right here and then your BTC amount right here will be sold and converted into USDT right here and that's where we need it. Once you have converted your crypto into USDT we can then just go up here back to our wallet go to spot account and then we have it here in USDT. Now if you want to trade with it we need to transfer it from our spot account to our futures account right here and to do that we simply go up here to transfer choose from spot account to futures account type in the amount down here or simply click on all and then just click on submit. Then your money will be transferred you can see in our spot account none is left and if you go to your futures account we can now see the balance right here and we can now trade with that money here. Now we can get started with the trading to get to the trading platform we simply go up here and click on futures and then we will get right here to the futures platform. Let me quickly show you everything that we can see right here. First of all, you can choose up here the trading pair that you want to trade. So you can trade any of these different coins on here. As you can see, BitUnix offers many different cryptocurrencies that you can trade. You can also search for one. In my case, I'm just going to stick with Bitcoin for now. Down below right here, you will see the price chart. This is just a cutout from TradingView if you're familiar with that. So you can easily do some drawings into the chart right here, move around and also choose the different time frames up here. Right next to it, you can see the order book with all the selling orders and the buying orders in the market currently. Currently. At the bottom, you will see your open positions, which we will see in just a bit when we open our first position, as well as your open orders, such as take profit and stop loss or your history. On the right side, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see some information about your funds that you have in your futures account. And if we scroll up a bit, this right here is where we can control of our trades. So where we can open and close trades, choose the order type, set the position size, take profit, stop loss, everything to control our trades. So let's open our first long position and we can do that by simply choosing up here first our margin mode. 
I would definitely recommend you to choose Isolate at the beginning. And right next to it, we can choose our leverage. You can use up to 125x. In my case, I'm simply gonna start off with a 5x leverage for now. Click on Confirm and we've set that up right here. Next up, we're gonna choose Open. And now we can choose the order type. You can choose between Limit or Market Order. If you're using a Limit Order, you can set a certain price at which you want your position to be opened. For example, if I wanna start off with my long position at $90,000, I could type that in right here. And then only if the price goes down right here to $90,000, then my long trade would be opened. But what I can also do and what I would recommend you to use is just go to market because a market order is executed immediately at the current market price. Next up, we can type in the order size. I definitely also recommend you to choose right here USDT by nominal value. So you can see right here the total amount of your position. So let's say we type in here $500. We want to open a $500 position size. You will see we are using $100 of our available balance of $130 that we have in our futures account, but we are using only $100 because the $100 of our own money times the 5x leverage will equal the entire position size of $500. So that's how the calculation right here works. Once I'm fine with that, I can also set a take profit and stop loss by simply setting this check mark right here. And now I can type in a price for my take profit, for example, $108 thousand dollars that will be right here and i can also immediately see i will make 55 dollars of a profit and i can also set my stop loss let's say i want to place it at ninety two thousand dollars i can just type that in right here and you will see i will make around about twenty dollars of a loss at that price once i'm fine with those numbers i can simply click on open long and my long trade will be opened. I can see it immediately right here in the chart this is where i entered the position up here is my take profit and down here is my stop loss this 0.0048 means the position size in BTC. I can also see that down here where I can see some important information about my opened trade, the amount in Bitcoin and in dollars. If you're wondering why this amount is a little bit smaller than we set the $500 at the beginning right here, it's because it needs to be rounded to an even BTC number four digits after the decimal point and that's why sometimes the number right here can be a bit lower this also goes for the margin which is our own capital in the trades initially we've seen that right here under cost the 100 dollars of our own money because it's rounded a little bit this is also a little bit lower and sits at 92 dollars in this case here you can also see your entry price where we entered the position and here on the right side we can also see our estimated liquidation price your liquidation price is important if you don't have a stop loss currently we have one right here but if you zoom out a little bit you can also see it down here in the price so if you don't have a stop loss and the price would go down this much down to $77,000 then this position right here would be liquidated which means it would be automatically closed by the platform and we would lose our margin in this trade right here. This is our margin this is our own capital and this is at risk and could be lost if the liquidation price is reached but of course we can prevent that by setting a stop loss beforehand and as you can see we set a loss of $20 already at the beginning so if the price goes down to here, it would already automatically be closed with that small loss we've set up. Speaking of the take profit and stop loss, you can of course at any point edit them by just dragging and holding and putting it to a new place. And then if you go over with your mouse, you can see your new profit that you will make at that price. And same of course goes for your stop loss. If you move that, you can see where it now sits and what your loss or profit would be at those prices. Of course, you can also cancel them right here and set new ones by simply clicking down here on TPSL. You can also type in the profit, for example, if you want to set it at exactly $50 of profit and at minus $8 of a loss, confirm, and you can set it that way too. Now here's our take profit, here's our stop loss, or also an even faster way would be to just click on TP, drag, you will see your profit that you will make at those prices, release it, and you can place your take profit and stop loss that way pretty quickly as well. Right here on the right side, you can also see your unrealized profit. Currently the price has risen a little bit, so that's why we are in a small profit. And also down here, you will see your realized PL. So if you're taking some profits along the way and closing parts of your position, you will see them right here. At the beginning, this is always a very small loss because of the order fees for opening the position. Now we can simply wait till our take profit or stop loss will be hit. Or you can, of course, also close your position at any time. If you want to close some parts of the position, you have basically a few options. Either you go here to close, choose how much percent you want to close or type in the amount in US dollars right here. For example, if I want to close $200, from this $400, I can just type that in right here, click on close long, and you will see now my position size is reduced. Or if you click on flash close or this X right here, this is also flash close, then the entire position will be closed at just one click. If you click on confirm right here, you will see that way you can also close the entire position at just one click. Don't forget to pick up your special sign up bonus with up to $5,500 of welcome bonuses by simply using the first link down from the video description. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.